What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Pixis OS on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how interesting is this ROM. Well I think this is a quite a nice option for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Why is the reason? I will show you in today's video of course. And in the settings panel let me show you the first things first. About section and in the Android version we get the Pixis OS logo up top and then we get the Pixis OS version and here the version is 3.0.3. .3. This is the GApps version, you get two versions with GApps and without GApps. I have used the one like with GApps and this is the 16th February 2020 build and Android version is 10 of course. So here the security patch is latest of February 5th 2020 and the kernel version is Pixis++ kernel and here you can see the build date again 16th February. Let me go back from here. By the way, I have used the latest stable Orange Fox recovery to flash this ROM and I have flashed the like ROM file itself and the fcrypt disabler and I rebooted. And of course, from previous ROM, I wiped cache Dalvik system data. In the system section here, you get an updater and you can check for updates as you can see from here. This stock updater looks pretty cool in my opinion. Let me go back here, we get the gestures option and inside here. We get this gesture navigation and stuff, two button and three button navigation. And then we have the full screen gestures. If you want to like hide this pill option too, you can do that. The Android 10 gestures are working flawlessly here. Now, one bug that I have been noticing on this build or this ROM is that this Xiaomi parts just keeps for stopping. As you can see, it just like for stop. Let me go over here again. And again, it for stopped. So I think inside Xiaomi parts, you get those things like me audio Dirac or something. So those things are not present over here in the sound settings. You won't find it as you can see. So those things should be there in the Xiaomi parts, but that is simply for stopping. So yeah, that's kind of one bug that I have been noticing. And yes, I have checked the sound output via the headphone jack and Bluetooth as well. Both works great, but yeah, you need to keep in mind that there is no me audio Dirac present by default at least because like the Xiaomi parts is just for stopping. Other than that, there is no problems at all in the whole UI. So let me go to the home section and show you the stock camera here. The stock camera on this ROM is old Google camera and it is not that nice, leaves quite a like <laughs> unusable part over here like this black border. And I would say this camera is not that great. So I have installed the Google camera 7 and this Google camera 7 have been working pretty fine over here. No issues whatsoever with this Google camera. Night sight and stuff, everything works. I'll leave a card for this Google camera like over there. This Google camera have been working fine with night sight and stuff, no issues. So you can also install ANX camera if you want. I'll link for that in the description box below too. Just press the latest ANX camera zip, it should work. And with this LED RGB remote app, I have tested the IR blaster present on top of the device and the IR blaster is working fine, not a problem. The stock launcher over here is the AOSP launcher and this is how the settings panel looks like of the AOSP launcher and this launcher has that cool feature too where you can just double tap anywhere on the home screen and it just like locks the device and here is the fingerprint scanner speed for you. I would say the fingerprint scanner speed is just flawlessly good and I have no complaints regarding the fingerprint scanner speed. Inside explore you get all the customizations and here you get the status bar option. We have traffic indicator, double tap to sleep on the status bar option is there. Then we get the battery icon, you can choose portrait circle, dotted circle, field, etc. And there is the battery percentage, you can choose it to be enabled. And roaming indicator, 4G icon, vault icon, etc. is there. And show call and date option is there. In the quick settings, we have the vibrate on toggle touch, animation style, etc. And this blur is working fine too, like if I show you this. As you can see this background, if you're noticing, this has been blurred pretty much. So yeah, this works flawlessly, no issues whatsoever with the background blur and stuff. Let me go into the notifications now and here we have the heads up disabling option, charging LED and in-call vibration options. You can enable it for vibrate on connect, vibrate on call waiting, etc. Let me go back to the buttons. Here we have the accidental touch, volume rocker, etc. And here you also get this advanced reboot option. So you can directly reboot to recovery whenever you want. And in the like lock screen, things get a lot more interesting because we have this force fingerprint authentication or like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner option is here present in this ROM and that I definitely like because after rebooting the device I can simply touch the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks. 
I don't have to enter the pin every time I reboot the device. So that's a really nice feature and I like it. And here we have the fingerprint authentication vibration, error vibration, etc. Double tap to lock on the lock screen. So that's really good. Let me go back to the gestures here. We have the three finger screenshot gesture. And with this, as you can see, you get this one plus kind of scrolling screenshot. So you can just like go into anywhere in Twitter and like scroll like this, as you can see. And this works pretty fine. You can just stop whenever you need. Like if I stop right now by tapping on the screen. And as you can see, it took a really long screenshot. So this is really cool. We get this one plus kind of screenshot gesture over here. And one more thing to note here is that even though there is this screenshot shutter sound option is there and it is disabled right now as you can see. But still if I take a screenshot it makes a sound. So yeah that's how it is right now and you cannot simply disable the screenshot sound even though your phone is in silent mode. Now let me go back to the misc settings here. We have the gaming mode, toast app icon, auto enable on battery saver etc. And then we have the about option of the like pixis os rom for the developers name if you're like interested in those huge thanks to the developers for this rom this is a really great rom and i'm liking it in the display settings we get the night light etc auto brightness and then we have the display side screen saver lock screen display is there but there is no like always on display but we don't really need it for ips display and lock screen charging influence stuff is there and we have the dark theme and here we have the accent colors. You get a plethora of accent colors as you can see. I have been using this Q green. Looks pretty cool with dark theme. So I have been using this Q green. But you can use whatever color you want. Here we have the headline and body fonts. And the options are pretty limited 4 to 5. I won't complain because I don't change the fonts anyway. In the battery settings here is how it looks like. And the battery life of this ROM is pretty great. As you can see from this screenshot, I have been getting about 6 plus hours of screen on time easily. No issues whatsoever with like getting good battery life over here on this ROM. And also the 18 watt fast charging works out of the box here so you don't need to worry. And this is how the stock dialer looks like. I mean the in-call UI. Pretty much pixel dialer present over here. But there is no call recording option but Wi-Fi calling or Volte calling both work super fine over here. And talking about Google Pay and stuff, yes Google Pay is working right out of the box so you don't need to worry about it. And here we get the like widgets and stuff working pretty fine as you can see on the home screen and swiping down anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel to the left we get the Google now cards and you can like double tap anywhere on the home screen if you would like and swiping up gets the app drawer and stuff. So pretty much the ROM is pretty fluid no issues whatsoever and here is the Geekbench score of this ROM. So thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now